Good morning, Keller Williams. Welcome back to the KW Command MC 66 Day Challenge 2.0. Today is day 43, and we're going to be searching for, filtering, tagging compliance requests that have been submitted by our agents and associates. I want to start with the sort drop down here where my mouse is at. And so there are four tiles here to pick from. It's either based on the closing date or the submission date. So for example, submission date lives over here at the top of the card. And the closing date, if it's in there as an estimate, is right down here. So the way I remember it is submission latest is the most recent submissions first. And so the most recent in this demo market center is June 27th. If I flip it to soonest, it's going to start with the oldest dates first. Does that make sense? I prefer closing dates latest so I can see closings and look ahead to what's coming up. And submission latest so I can see the most recent opportunities that have been submitted for compliance. Now I'm going to also use these filters over here to narrow my results, right? I don't, 347 is a lot to try and pick through. And you can imagine there are thousands of opportunities in many market centers. So submitted simply means the agent has attached compliance documents to an opportunity and hit submit for review. It is up to the market center to review or reject. Resubmitted means the agent's initial submission was returned for whatever reason, and they've fixed everything you have asked for, which we will talk about on a future video. So that's resubmitted. Changed is their initial compliance submission was rejected initially, and now they have started to replace documents but haven't submitted for approval just yet. It's that in-between stage before resubmitted after it's been returned. Now open is the agent has started attaching compliance documents, but they have not submitted anything for review. Now this is a really helpful full status filter to search for because you can find any opportunity that has a single document uploaded to it. So for example here you can see this opportunity has at least one document added to the consultation checklist. It is in the cultivate phase of the opportunity. And so you're able to find it because it has a document showed up. Any other opportunities in Cultivate with zero documents will not appear in compliance requests because there's nothing to really show. And then of course, approved. So let me close and clear this. Approved is all the opportunities where one of the compliance events says, this has been approved. And you can filter by opportunity type as well, whether it's buyer, listing, or landlord and tenant. You can filter based on certain compliance events. So listings have a listed compliance event, buyers have consultation. You can use advanced filters to find the exact close date or the agent assigned. And now let's go back to archived items. So agents will archive an opportunity for a number of different reasons. If you want to include those results in your search, you can flip on the toggle here and get the green switch. Um, for example, it's turning it off because I have no approved in archived. And so it's just like, no, you can't do that, Mike. There's nothing there. So I'm going to slip this on and you'll see the list now includes all 3,800 opportunities between archived and active requests. 
If I just want to see the archived to try and fish it out, I can turn off the active requests and see anything that's archived has this big red stamp on it as well. And so we're going to go back to the default set here. I can also tag opportunities here. So you may want to know if something is a commercial transaction. You may need to treat that differently. You may use this as a way to handle your workflow. This one needs broker review. This one is ready for a DA. Or it may be a personal transaction, right? Whatever you want to use as your tags, so you can come back and sort and filter through these at any time. So to add a tag, we've made this pretty simple here. You can click add and you can choose any of the existing tags that are here all right so let's say this one is dual agency and i need to note that if i need to edit or remove that tag i will click the edit pencil i get the same menu and i will uncheck it now let's say there's a tag i don't have on this list right so for example the 66 day challenge tag you cannot add a tag from this screen you must go up to settings and add it there. Well, that's it for today, everybody. Tomorrow, we will jump into making edits to an individual's opportunity. And so until then, thank you and have a great day.